So Dartling Farm Ice is the current meta in Battles 2, but today I'm going to show you some other strategies that can honestly be just as good as Dartling Ice, and you're going to love it. Let's get it, boys. All right, guys, our first match of the video is against the Furious D. We're on the map of Dino Graveyard, I think. Yeah, we're on Dino Graveyard, and I'm going the strategy of Druid, Sub, and Farm. So let's freaking get it, ladies and gentlemen. I think he has some sort of eco strategy, because I know the Furious D pretty much only runs eco here. So fair enough. I'm pretty sure they're running some sort of eco strat. Yep, there's the Alchemist. They're probably going Ninja, Alch, Eco. Don't really... I forget what hero they brought. You guys probably know because I showed you the beginning screen, but I forget what hero they brought. So maybe Ocean Open. I'm not exactly sure. not exactly sure what hero they have here. Yeah, they got their Ninja down as well. Fair enough. Based Greens. We'll upgrade this. Art of Vengeance. Put my Open on last. We want to leak some lives here. To get my druid speed buff going here. Hmm. It's important. And then once we got the speed buff going, we can start anti stalling these rounds quite a bit, which would be big. I actually didn't even need to buy the Heart of Vengeance yet. I could have just uh, got a round two farm, actually. I just realized. I could have gotten a round two farm. Yeah, put this on close real quick. We're going to Bloom Boost these. Yeah, it gets up his double shot. Well done. Caused quite a bit of leaks, though. Was on first now. I should be able to pick these up. We got the max druid buff, basically. Perfect. We're actually going to target the brambles right here. We want to anti stall. It's important. I want to get these rounds short and sweet. Because, again, they're going some sort of eco strategy. Ninja Alk Glue, maybe? Or Ninja Alk Heli? I don't think he runs Ninja Alk Sniper. I think one of those two. Pat! Interesting. Okay. We're running pot here. Very interesting. Oh, I need Druid of Wrath. Target the next Brambles down there. So pot with Ninja Elk is odd. I guess they can buff their Ninja's damage late game with pot. And they can probably move him if they have Heli in their strategy too. Pat probably helps them just defend round 16 and stuff. I'm thinking. Is there a theory here with the defense? Banana Plantation. We'll boost this round. So I can greed more. So I don't have to get lightning. Oh, I should be sending space purples as well. Why am I sending space blacks? That's dumb. In the current pot spot, though, it won't buff their um, ninjas. So that's one thing to note. The current pot spot's not going to buff anything. But they do get elk buff pot. I don't know if that really helps him much, though, because he already does a lot of damage and has a lot of pierce per attack. So I'm not sure if elk buffing pot's really helpful. Wait, why'd they sell and replace their ninja? What's going on? Okay, they got their elk buff up. Well done. Get my Heart of Thunder. They're actually not econ at all because they're going to save up for their ninja, I'm guessing. There's their ninja. I don't think I rushed that. It's the fourth tier Alk buff with the Alk buff ninja and Pat. It's probably not worth to rush here. So we'll just max eco. We'll plan on just keeping the anti stall, max ecoing, and all outing around 30, probably. Be my plan. This match. Uh, balloons are actually getting through. That's not a good anti stall. We need to target Brambles right there. We can't be that in balloons get through there. <clears throat> Switch over to Black Balloons once you get 1500 eco, will be the plan. Keep throwing on these Brambles. 1500 eco, we'll switch over to Blacks. Oh, I already, th I should have actually thrown my Brambles in a uh, position to pop Moabs and not hit the track because I wanted to leak on round 18. I guess I'm not going to be able to leak on round 18 because these Brambles, unless they get popped somehow. Okay, he's rushing me, so we'll pop the Brambles. We'll go 2k eco here. Wait, did that brambles get popped from the balloons? Oops. Yeah, we got 2k eco. Perfect. Alright, we're vibing. Don't want to use last boost. Last boost is important not to use. Alright, we're fine. Got some Druid Leaks in there, perfect. And they're not going to be aggressive at me late game, so I just need one boost, really, is the thing. One boost is all that's necessary for the most part. Keep farming. Trying to get this round anti-stalled with my trees. 
I know I'm not going to get money from the trees, but it's okay. We got the round anti stalled, which is important. Once I get up, um, um, once I get up my banana central, I'll actually invest a lot of money to anti stall as well. Okay, they do have heli. They've actually stopped eat going here. Interesting. All right, perfect. Won't anti stall his camos, but the round doesn't end with camos, thankfully. All right, got another leak in there. Another farm up. We'll target trees in the back. PC sends me DTs. If he sends me DTs, I'll first strike everyone. Because he doesn't want to send DTs as an eco player. I'll get that up now. Should be on strong. I don't know why he sent me a DT. That was dumb. Keep farming. Again, we'll go round 30 all out, pretty much. A BAD and then followed by a million ZMGs. I think that's a GG. Yeah, it's a GG. Awesome. That was closer than I thought, but GG's. I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Our next match here is against Fighter 2005. We're on the map of... What's this map called? Castle Ruins. And I'm going with my strategy of Dartling Ninja Farm with Snow Pat, actually, instead of Normal Pat, which might seem weird. Like, why would you bring Snow Pat when you don't have ice in your strategy, Ryan? Uh, mostly because Snow Pat, actually, I think it's better just a normal attacking tower than Pat. I'm not really going to use Pat. If I use Pat in the strategy, I'm not really going to use him to buff my towers as well. But um, because Snow Pat freezes the balloons instead of stunning the balloons, I think it's more effective. And two, um, if you use the level three Snow Pat ability, it actually buffs Pat itself or Snow Pat itself. But if you use the level three Pat ability, it does not buff Pat itself. So with the level three ability, it's better as well when you're not actually targeting towers to buff, if that makes sense. So look at my opponent is starting with their tax shooter right there, and a Zeli. Interesting. Don't know what strategy they might be bringing. I am not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see, but we started with my Dartling and I pat, so pretty standard stuff on my side here with Dartling Ninja Farm. This is my favorite pat spot on the map, by the way. I think this is the best pat spot for at least my strategy. I don't know about some other strategies. Other strategies might have different pat spots, but for my strategy, this is where I like to have my pat. Spaced Yale. So they are going some sort of eco strategy here because they are sending space balloons. Okay, because that was my first question. Are they going eco or farms? Because they have a stole's tack spot. And normally when people stall with tack, it's an aggressive farm strategy. So they're going to... I mean, when people have farm with tack, it's going to be an aggressive tack strategy, so they want to uh, anti-stall the rounds, but this guy's stalling with tack farm, which is odd. All right, they got their farm down. Well done. Start saving up for my um, powerful darts here. Do you guys see me white balloons? Doesn't appear, so we're going to actually put this on first real quick, so then I can manage these leaks a little bit better. And now they sent me pinks. Get the powerful darts up. We're fine. Another farm upgrade. They have their faster shooting on their attack shooter. All right. Get this on last. We want this on... We actually should use pot ability here. We want this on last because on last it's going to um target only the white balloon layer. If I have it on first, my dartling is going to be hitting the balloons before they um pop by pat. So we want to keep pat on last here. So then my dartling gets hit on... Shots on it after they get popped down. Now we are struggling a little bit, but once Pat gets next level, it's going to have increased attack speed, which is going to help me out against these space balloons. So now it's attacking faster, and it should be able to pop every single one of these black balloons down to yellows. Help me clean them up. It looks like it's doing that pretty well. Awesome. Look at my plantation here in a sec. Could be attack farm whiz. That's honestly what I'm exp Oh, I accidentally upgraded the wrong upgrade on my farm. Alright, we'll get the right upgrade here. Could be attack farm whiz. That's what I'm expecting, because they have a Zelia as well, and obviously... Zelia and Wizard are um, a match made in heaven. All right, we're going to get another Darling down. This one will be my HRP. I'm actually not going to upgrade this one to faster barrel spin unless he like sends me Zebras or something because I'm going to sell this later for an HRP. So if I can avoid upgrading it, I'm avoiding some sell loss, if that makes sense. But if he sends me Zebras, I'm just going to upgrade it anyways. So we'll see. Doesn't look like they're sending me Zebras at the moment though. So we might be able to just chill and read for that HRP without, avoid without incurring that sell loss. Yeah, it is wizard. Okay. It is indeed the wizard tower. 
How much to sell for? 1225, so I need 4400. It's doable. One more income boost. All right, I kind of greed a little too hard there. I'll admit it. I was a little bit too greedy for me. But we're fine at the end of the day. I really wanted to try doing it without upgrading my second darling, but because of that, I actually ended up having to burn a boost, so it was not worth. It was not worth at the end of the day there. And that's okay. We're still in a fine position. We have good farms. We have a pretty good eco. It's in space rainbows this round. This is on strong. All right. Now, Snowplat will be leveling up slower in the next update, so I'll have to see, like, when these, uh, uh, when these, what's it called? Certain pat upgrades will hit is going to be important because, like, for example, level 7 Snowpat's an important level for defending rushes. It increases the pop power and damage, so if he sends me a rush around 14, I'll probably upgrade to level 7 Snowpat. It doesn't look like they're interested in rushing at the moment, so we'll just greed on. And now it has level 7, perfect. Level eight's in, uh, level eight is not important for my loadout at all because it only affects the level three ability in pair, in, in pair with the ice towers. And obviously, we don't have ice towers in our loadout, so that's not going to change anything here. Get laser shock on this soon. So you're going to rush me. They've stopped decoying. So I expect a rush. We use ice pad ability. That should solo. Was on first. Yep, that solos. Back on strong. Boost. I hate this game, dude. I, my cursor was lagging. I tried to target it, and then it didn't target, so I had to end up boosting that. Like, my dartling targeting was lagging there. Don't know what's going on. Now I'm down to one boost, which sucks. I shouldn't have even needed to boost that rush once I got my buckshot up. Um, do they, I don't know if they realize I have boost back. We should be fine against this. Yeah, I don't even need boost. Alright. We're good. Camel rushes aren't a bad idea against snow patches because it does so much damage, but um it's not worth. Camel rushes are still extremely expensive. They cost two times the price of normal rushes, so you can essentially send two times smaller rush if you're like doing that. Oh, this is on strong. All right, this should not be an issue. They're pretty much just throwing all the rushes they can at me right now. But really shouldn't do anything. We can use Snowpad ability as well here, which will um, increase the attack speed of this guy and increase the likelihood for him to knock back the Moabs. Because it will be attacked faster, so it'll knock back faster. Expect a ZMG. There it is. We need to get up a Blue Nero denial system for this. Actually, we'll just defend this the um the Chad way. We'll get up a um master bomber. We'll just defend it the Chad way, ladies and gentlemen. Because we we have a much higher eco than them. So even though we have no farms and they have no farms, this is a fine position to be in. All right, Master Bomber solos. And yeah, I'll catch you on round 26 when they die to DTs, unless they just surrender. Okay, they ended up dying against AI. All right, all right. GG's. Um, I'll do one more match for you guys. I'll do one more match for you guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, our last match of the video is against Great Monkey 376. We're going the strategy of Bomb Farm and Village here on Oasis. So let's freaking get it. We'll start with my maker right here. All right. Three different strategies for today's video, and none of them being Darling Ice. So, you know, Ryan Mahalik's switching it up for you guys. You better enjoy it. What is he doing with the Darling Tower? What, what are you doing, Great Monkey? Target your Darling at the balloons. You're going to leak. Bro was giving a, me a Darling Dance right there, guys. He was giving me a Darling Dance, Mr. Great Monkey. Okay. That was, that was something interesting. That was definitely something interesting. 
Get my bomb down right here. Put this on close. Extra range. I think they might have eco here. Because they're still going grouped greens. So if they're going... I mean, they're still going grouped reds. So if they're still going grouped reds, they probably have eco. Which, honestly, we could GG them round 40, dude. This is a strategy where you can GG people round 40. Um, Bomb farm village. And they have an eco strategy, so they're not going to be aggressive at me, which means it's going to be easier for me to farm. Well, actually, no. There's going to be spaced ecos now. They might have... They might have... um. I might have farm in their loadout. Or they have boat farm. Pretty much farm, boat farm, you know what I mean. We can still put, try to GG around 40, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Are they going to get their boat farm down this round? They should. No, how did they, they not afford it? I feel like that's the exact route I take. We're going to have boat farm. Odd. Some some white balloons that should force their... Uh, Powerful darts or a grape shot. I don't think grape shot will defend on this map though. I think we need power. Eh, grape shot might defend, I guess. Will balloon boost be a little bit of extra annoying at them? Because I don't think it defends. At least their spot. Their grape shot spot doesn't seem the best. One of the cannons is basically getting blocked every shot. Also, I accidentally upgraded long life bananas, the best farm upgrade in 2023. They have not sent me any whites or blocks yet though, so I have not had to upgrade my bomb at all. Which is fantastic. I honestly could probably just chill with the bigger bombs if they send me it though. Because I can leak a lot of lives right now. I'm, I'm still at 150, so. Yeah, I probably don't even need heavy bombs until zebras. I probably don't need heavy bombs until zebras this game. Alright, let's try bigger bombs here. We're actually not leaking at the moment. Surprisingly. It might be because I hit the biker level where it, uh. One sec. Get that on. Let's farm upgrade. Purples are going to cause me to leak though. Purples will probably cause me to leak. Yeah, let's get, let's get my heavy bombs now. We're fine. They sold their dartling for another boat. Fair enough. Send them zebras this round. They're not going to be able to handle zebras. Again, we're playing. We're going to play pretty high eco this game as well. So sending zebras is kind of the route I'm trying to take. They got to be careful though. They're leaking lives and they're at 30. They need a boost. They need a boost, right? Are they good? Are they going for laser shock on their dartling? What? Okay, they're going for an ice tower now. My opponent's doing some odd, spooky, winky, janky stuff, bro. My opponent is playing very weird. Okay, they got their ice shards up. They should be fine now. We can stall this. We'll keep on max eco in here. That was an eco so far. That's very solid. For round 13 with Bomb Farm Village. We're doing good in regards to economy this match. We are vibing so far. And they don't have life rejuvenation in their strategy. So as long as we don't leak 107 more lives, we can, in fact, GG round 40. Or have a chance at it. Mix in a little bit of pink eco, just so I'm using up all my money on eco. Every income boost. 1500 eco. All right. We'll go to like 2k. All right, we'll switch over and just go black eco for the rest of this. It's going to be a Moab. Obviously, I'm going to need defense. Same thing with the fortified Moab. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. I can burn a boost as well. I still have three boosts left. So, boosts are valuable late game, but um, not extremely valuable, right? So, some some uh, loadouts, boosts, just boost all of your defense, right? With Bombfire Village, it boosts, boosts most of your defense because lots of your DPS is coming from just the bomb shooters' attacks. But, however... Lots of your DPS is also coming from um, Moab Assassin abilities, and Moab Assassin abilities are not affected by a boost, so obviously that's part of the defense. Won't be um, changed from a boost. Also, I went over 2,000 eco, but it's okay. Sue me. Alright, gonna send me 4 or 5 Moab. This guy's not sent. <coughs> Excuse me. This guy's not sending me anything, dude. I don't know if they realize that they have the worst late game strategy here. They need to be aggressive to be able to win this matchup. They're just trying to get their full boat farm going on right now. Got my BRF up on round 18 with 2.15k eco. Dude, we are vibing. We're vibing right now. It's fantastic for me. Marketplace. This is strong, right? Okay. How many boats can you fit in there? I can't even count how many boats they have because like it's the boats are like layering over each other. I don't think it's that many though. Like, you can probably fit like nine or something. I mean, it's a it's a decent boat farm, but it's not great. It's not great. Also, why, this bomb spot's not the best. 
Should be on first. We're fighting against that Moab. We're sending me a ZMG. Okay, now they're getting aggressive. Oh, okay, okay. This is not gonna be fun. Wait a sec. Are they all outing me? I can just afford a balloon crush here. And I'll have 2k eco, and they don't have near 2k eco. This is like me going for the master bomber of the game before, basically. It's just the safest way to defend, and we, we have the eco lead, so it's... Why not, you know? We'll get some recursives towards the back, just in case, but this should be able to solo the rush pretty well. Yeah, that's gonna solo for sure. I can also double the damage with the, um, biker ability. Let's do double damage here. Yeah, that solos, that solos. See, a rush like that could maybe work, but the problem is they, these rounds were stalled and he let me full greed, so I had more than enough money to get my balloon crush up, you know? Like, maybe in a world where I can't afford my balloon crush, something could maybe happen there, but... I afforded it very comfortably this match. I don't think they can aff uh, they can boat pull, but we can send so many that I don't think they're able to boat pull every single one. And I don't know if they'll afford impale. But yeah, they're trying to boat pull. They're not going to have money to boat pull every single DT I send them, though, because I'm so far ahead on money that they're just going to run out. See, look, they're selling defense for it now. Yeah, they're, they're just dead. GG's. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite strategy I showcased in today's video was. Ryan Malik out. Peace, lads. And also, put code Ryan Malik in the BTD item shop if you haven't already. Shout out to Aiden for this little animation thing. But yeah, that's it, guys.